now for your feisty, fresh, and fierce MC, it's Devin Langley! Good morning, everybody! Well, I think yesterday was absolutely amazing. You were all performing so well in those qualification matches. How are you feeling? <laughs> Thank you so much for your gracious professionalism, your hard work, your teamwork, for the way you treated everybody yesterday. We are so thankful to you for being such great role models with all your creativity, your excitement, your determination, your sportsmanship. Make sure you keep it up today. I know things are going to get a little more intense, and it's going to be amazing. I just want to say, regardless of how things play out today, whether things go the way you want them to, or maybe you hit a few bumps along the way, remember, the competition is amazing, but you're really on this much bigger journey as part of FIRST. You're preparing for the future. You're building a community, and we're building leaders. You are all the people who are going to tackle the world's biggest challenges. It's so exciting to think about all of the things you're gonna do in the next 50 years. You're gonna change, you're really gonna change the world. Participants and alumni of FIRST programs gain access to all of these cool opportunities, these education, career discovery opportunities, connections to exclusive scholarships and employers, and a place in the FIRST community for life. I mean, I've been doing this since I was nine and I'm not going anywhere and I hope you guys stick around too. Make sure you check it out online. You can find information about the FIRST alumni program and scholarships online at firstinspires.org slash alumni. But on that note, I'm sure many of you know, this is the first time we've had an event in this area. Can we get a huge round of applause for the surrounding community and our their support? We are so thankful for how this community has come together. And without further ado, I want to welcome one of our guest speakers today. We have the mayor of Princeton, Indiana, Greg Wright. Thank you. Well, welcome to Princeton. I'm glad to have you guys here. Hope everybody's had a great time. I'm, uh, I'm a little foggy from the time change. Anybody else? I don't know who thought of that. Probably some politician down the road, I don't know. Um, you know, I'm kind of a local historian. Uh, one thing I do want to point out is uh, Princeton was founded in 1814. That's two years before the state of Indiana. Uh, if you were walking around in the 1940s in Princeton, you probably along our Princeton Square could have rubbed elbows with a guy named Dave Thomas. Anybody know who Dave Thomas was? But as a young boy, he was here in Princeton and went to Greek's Candy Store and noticed how they had ice cream, hamburgers, and chili, Dave Thomas went on to form Wendy's. So that's pretty cool that he was here in Princeton at one time. Also, a guy named Orville Redenbacher lived in Princeton and worked south of town. So we have some ties to some local his uh, famous people, I guess you'd say. Uh, Gil Hodges was born in Princeton. He was just this last summer put in the Baseball Hall of Fame. So to be honest, this is my first robotics uh, event ever to attend. Uh, it reminds me of maybe like NASCAR meeting Comic-Con meeting of NBA games, so this is really cool. So, I just want to welcome you guys here. I do want to put out one invitation to you guys to come back. Next year in April, I don't know if you've heard about this, but the total eclipse comes right through the center of Princeton. So, we would invite everybody to come back on April 8, 2024. Uh, it's going to be a, a, about four minutes of total uh, darkness in the city. So come on back and enjoy our events and welcome everybody. Good luck today and have a safe trip back. Thank you so much, Mayor Wright. We are so glad you're here with us today for your first first event. Um, you're always welcome with the Fin Fam. So as you all know. This event would not be possible without the support of our presenting sponsor, Toyota Motor Manufacturing of Indiana. And I know you all got your really cool shirts yesterday, but they also have a few extra t-shirts. So if you would like a shirt, please cheer and get your hands ready because they're coming at you with a t-shirt cannon. Ready in three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> nice catch. <laughs> oh, I got 
Kai. Oh, nice catch. <laughs> that was awesome. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that was awesome, thank you. So in addition to our fabulous sponsors, to make first events run smoothly, it also takes many super dedicated volunteers. It's a lot of work. Um, I know these people are putting in so many hours, but it's also a lot of fun. And we can always use more volunteers, so make sure you come join the fun and volunteer at an upcoming event. But in addition to that, let's give a huge round of applause, everybody, for all these amazing volunteers. They're working so hard to do this for you all. Oh, come on, you can do better than that. These people are working so hard. <laughs> Thank you. So now it's time for us to present the Outstanding Volunteer Award. This award is so special because there are so many deserving volunteers. The inspectors, refs, judges, the field and scoring table crew, the planning committee, the machine shop folks, the pit admin are all volunteers who help FIRST rise. And without volunteer support, I mean, FIRST wouldn't exist. Their dedication and commitment are so critical across all of our FIRST programs. Let's give them one more round of applause for all of their hard work. And now to present the Outstanding Volunteer Award, please welcome the Princeton Event Planning Committee Chair, Rick Gilmore. As much as we enjoy our volunteers, we couldn't do this without you guys. So thank you for doing everything that you do. Hey, six months ago, I'd never even heard of FIRST Robotics, okay? I'm being serious. Um, our team last year, we saw the robot run for a pep session, um, but I didn't really dig into it much. I've dug, I've dug into it a little bit now. Obviously, we were hosting a competition. So thank you guys for coming down. Um, this, this next lady that we're going to talk about, it has done phenomenal, okay? Short notice, rocking it out, taking care of volunteers, it's been an amazing uh, you know, time working with her and everything, and I couldn't have, have been able to done anything here at the school with our Disco Ducks um, if Leanne Maxwell wouldn't have been on board. So our, our volunteer is Leanne Maxwell. She has done more for this than anybody that I can think of. So Leanne, we've known about each other about three weeks. I was hoping you'd grow up a little bit, but we're all good. Congratulations, that's so deserving. But let's also recognize some of our other amazing volunteers. Please welcome back your judges. Hopefully you've all had the chance to meet and impress them. Good morning, everybody. We're glad to have you back. Let's also welcome back our very hardworking referees. Give them a huge round of applause. And let's also show our appreciation for another very talented group, your robot inspectors, led by lead robot inspector, John Barnett. Make sure you give them all a big thank you later because reminder, you all have to be re-inspected after your final qualification match today if you're gonna be eligible to play in the playoffs. So you'll go see all of them again very soon. But there really are so many volunteers that put in countless hours of work and planning before and during our district event. 
So let's also show our appreciation for your field volunteers, which include resetters, cures, scorekeepers, and FTAAs led by FTA and first alum Rob Jenkins and field supervisor and first alum Alexis Hunter. Let's keep it going for your pit volunteers, which include pit admins, spare parts, safety attendants, and of course, your awesome pit admin supervisor, Mary Baker. And let's give it up for the volunteers working behind the scenes tirelessly, like at volunteer registration and our fabulous volunteer coordinator and first alum, Carolyn Noble. Okay, one more last round of applause, everybody. Make some noise for those amazing people. All right, so here's what the schedule looks like today. This morning, we're gonna finish up those qualification matches and then go immediately into alliance selection, where the top eight teams will each pick two partners. These eight alliances will then move to the playoffs. After a lunch break, we'll begin the playoff rounds and present some awards between rounds of matches. Then the end of the competition with a final closing and award ceremony. It's going to be an exciting day, so remember, safety first. So now please stand for the national anthem. All right, so are we ready and full of energy? Let's get to some matches, right? All right, teams, please come power up your robots. <laughs> 